Hey guys, Box of Box and ID here with some more Dragon's Maze spoilers. So there's a fan going on in the background. I hope it doesn't interfere with the video. Yeah, hopefully it shouldn't. Let's just go right to the spoilers. So first up we have Wake the Reflections, which is kind of a interesting name. And it's one white for a sorcery populate. Which is fine. It's okay. It's... Uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm frustrated that it's a sorcery. But then again, at one white, it might be too good. I I'm almost wish this was like one at one white and one colorless instant speed populate. So not very impressed personally. Then we have oh my f I favorite. I don't know. It's so good. It's so good. Catch and release, which is a one of the worser names, but my god, I, I love this card so much. Anyway, it's one a blue and a red for a sorcery speed. Gain control of target permanent until end of turn. Untap it, it gains haste. Did you read that right? Target permanent. What the heck is going on? My goodness. That that includes planeswalkers, that includes lands, that includes enchantment, that includes anything. It's freaking amazing. And yeah, it's really, really well costed. So that is good in pretty much any, almost any format I could think of that it could be a good card. It's mind-bogglingly good in EDH for three. I wish it was like maybe one more and then instant speed, but then release would be instant speed, and that wouldn't be fair because release is for a red and a white. Each player sacks an artifact, creature, enchantment, land, and planeswalker. Wow. Okay, so it's a Wrath Effect. It's better than that other red one that was like three, three, two, one artifact creatures lands and you kind of pick up the order. This is much better than that because you're only going to have probably one Planeswalker around at a time. Chances are if your opponent has a Planeswalker out and then you use Release, takes care right of it. And then they lose one of each, so it's not overtly crippling, but it can definitely slow down and, uh, and injure uh, other decks, particularly multiplayer. It's each player, which is basically looking at, at EDH, because EDH multiplayer, this is a card that will wipe out quite a few cards in one go. EDH is probably also the only format you're going to see them both play at the same time, but I love that it's that both sides are very powerful. And you can probably just run it for catch, to be quite frank. Like in in constructed and in limited, you can probably just run catch and just ignore release, and it would still be good. But the fact that it has both, kind of sick. I love it. I love this card to death. And then we have a whole bunch of mini guys. They're all commons and uncommons. So we have the limited cycle. I'm going to call it limited cycle because I don't really see where they're that good anywhere else. We have Maze Sentinel. Six, they're, they're all cost six. It's five and one, three, six, vigilance, multicolor creatures gain vigilance. Eh, not that great. Maze glider, three, five, flying, gives flying. That's actually, uh, that's of them, it's one of the better ones because it's like levitation and a three, five, flying for six. Not horrible. Maze abomination, five and a black for a four, five, death touch. It gives death touch. That's probably the best one of them. I think it's great. Rusher gives haste, but given that it's a six, three, on. Um, pretty, I mean, it'll be solid and limited, but it's it's a bit aggravating that uh, that it costs so much. I'd rather it was like a, let's say, a 4-3 uh, maybe, or 4-2, or and it costs 3 or 4, something to that effect. Um, Maze Behemoth is Trample, obviously. It's green, so these are just the obvious abilities. And then we have Uncovered Clues, which is a lesser Forbidden Alchemy. And uh, that that auger, uh, the auger bolus, I think this is like a lesser version. It's the same cost as divination, but it is a very hit or miss. I, I think it's pretty terrible. I mean, you look at the top four cards, you may choose an in two instants or sorcery from among them, and the rest go on the bottom of your deck. So you may draw two cards for three. Come on, really. To, just why? And then Viashino First Blade is actually a bomb. Great art and amazing. It's 3 for 2 2 haste, which is solid, definitely solid, limited play, no question. And then when it enters the battlefield, it gets 2 plus 2 until end of turn. That is fantastic. Fantastic in limited. This is such a good card. And for a common slot, this is excellent.
excellent, really excellent card. So those are the spoilers that we have today. I know that right now the Selesnia Champion is on the horizon. They had an unofficial spoiler for it, which is why I didn't want to post it because I don't want to speculate about a card that may not be real because I didn't, I really didn't like the one they had. So hopefully the official one comes soon. Otherwise, let me know what you think about these ones below in the comment section. Again, sorry for the fan. Hopefully it didn't interfere with the video at all. I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say as well. Check out my channel sponsors in the description of the video. And as always, stay tuned for future Magic the Gathering spoiler videos and content. Rocksbox90 signing out. I'll see you guys next time.